the next thing that we're going to do is add a next panel, which is 10 feet long. But this time we are going to add a terraced, double terraced wall. We'll go through the same selection, 27 degrees is going to stay, case A is going to stay as the same thing, but we are going to change our wall length, and it's going to be 10 feet long. But now we have a total height of the panel, which is two terraces, and that total height is going to be 10, 10 rows, 5 feet tall, here we get down into what this base up and down indicates. If I move this over slightly, I can see my detail. My next panel I want to have at minus 5 so that it matches up with my last panel that was created. So what we'll do is we will we'll go, and this panel is going to be down to minus 5 to match that last panel, and that's the elevation I want as indicated on my drawings, which the elevation is 986. My first panel is going to the wall height is going to be on the terrace, on the upper terrace is going to be three rows, 1.5 feet. The other thing that I can do is change the distance between the walls. This does not do anything to the calculations or the design. It's purely just a informational thing. So if you get the distance is 3.5 between the walls or four, 4 feet between the walls, it just provides you with that information. It does not affect the calculations. As I change this low, the upper wall height based on the number of rows I have, the lower wall height will change accordingly. Now, as you can see, I have eight rows in the bottom, three rows on top, which actually indicates that we have 11 rows, but I only have a total panel height of 10 rows, and that's because that upper, pa upper panel or upper wall, one wall unit is buried below the um, the top of the first wall, and I'll show you later on what that looks like. Now we can also change the wall burial. If we wanted to have a deeper burial in this wall, we could go greater than 0.6 or uh, six inches, which is half a foot. But we'll leave it as as defaulted here. Now I'll just press OK, and now we will have a double terrace panel pop into place. And you can see that we're at minus five. This detail is, is a, you can see a darker line down here. That indicates that that is an upper terrace. This is a lower terrace and the geogrids are in place. And I'll just click on what that looks like. This is our panel of geogrids. And you can see this is our lower panel. That's the burial. The grid layers are in place. The grid lengths are in place, and the distance between this wall is four feet. And you can see the upper terrace is three courses, but this one wall is buried plus a cap. So this is the amount that's going in, is involved in the upper wall. But this whole height of panel is ten rows. We can also change and click on each one of these grids. We can lengthen the grids. We can, we can change the position or change the position of the grids. I'm sorry, that's the uh, grid position. Or we can lengthen the grids if we want to. We can also add a grid layer. So if I wanted to add a grid layer either to the upper wall or the lower wall, I can do so. And so I can choose the type of grids there are. Now, within the program, there are two types of grids a type 1, type 2, and they are based on the strength of the grids. And, and in, in the, you'll see down here, geogrid strengths, type 1 is a 3150 pound per foot, and a type 2 is a 43 pound per foot. And they're almost all the geogrids, Murify, Strata, Centene, will fit within that area. And these are usually biaxial grids, 
typical of what's off the shelf. So I will choose one and it pops in and I literally have added a grid layer into this area. So I can add grid layers if I so choose just to create the calculations and I can also delete that geo grid, but I can only delete the one that I add. I cannot delete existing grids that have been put into by the program. This panel also shows us that we have 23 cubic square yards of grid type one on this particular panel. And it also breaks some, some of the information down here. And this alt can be printed. So we can create a print document and here it will show you the details that will be in place. And if I scroll down, you will see a wall detail that's what was on that screen. Close out here, and I will press OK, and it will save this detail, and we'll refresh. You can see now we have a grid layer up here. It has refreshed the whole panel. The next thing that we're going to do is add the next panel, which is also 10 feet long. And now we can start doing it really quickly. I can go to copy this panel, click on it, and it will pop in a panel exactly the same as the one below because it's highlighted. As soon as I click on it and it's highlighted, I can go and edit this panel. And one of the things I'm going to do is the length is good, but I'm going to increase the number of rows that I'm going to do, and I'm going to change the the um, the height of this wall, which is going to be uh, uh, four on the top row, I'm going to change that to 4, which means that my elevation down is still minus 5, and I will press OK, and it will refresh this panel, and we will create a elevation change on the top of the wall, but still our base elevation is still at minus 5. The next panel I'm going to add is a triple wall. As you can see on the drawing, there are three, a triple wall detail. I'm going to add this triple wall. The length of this triple wall is going to be 15 feet. My total height of the wall is going to be, panel wall height is going to be 13 rows or 6.5 feet. My base elevation, if I change this over this way a bit, I can see minus 5. And I want to step this down one lower. I want one elevation lower, so it's going to be minus 6. The elevation of my base is going to be on this particular wall. Now I have an, my, triple, my upper wall is going to be three rows. The distance between that is going to be four feet. My second wall is going to be three, three rows, or 1.5 feet. The distance between these walls is going to be four feet, and we have nine rows on the bottom wall, and I'm going to say that's, that is that that is pretty good. So um, actually, I want to change this um, to, yeah, that will be good. And I can also change the burial required on this wall if I want to, but I'm just going to leave it as defaulted, and we'll press OK, and we should pop in a triple wall detail in this in the panels. There's the wall. It's dropped down. We have one elevation change down here and we have a elevation change on the top and if we would view that it would look like that. You would have a wall here, four feet, another wall, four feet, and another wall, and this is what the project would look like. We'll press OK. I can also go back and edit this at any time. 